Hello everyone. So today we're going to do a, a quick evaluation recap. So this will be a series of questions and I'll be giving the answers, but I'm hoping you will try to answer them yourself. So first, um, this is a very simple exercise. We have a variable definition here. So this is a basic definition where we assign 10 to x. And then we define a function f that has a parameter x that returns uh, x plus 20, right? Uh, now your objective is to try to figure out what is going to be the result of calling f and passing 30 to it. Okay, so please pause the video to try to answer the to I try to answer the question. Otherwise, I'll just give, go ahead and, and give you the answer. Okay, so um, the answer is 50. Uh, and basically what this exercise is showing you is that the x of the parameter is shadowing this x. So you're not going to get 10 plus 20, so 30. Um, what you get is um, 30 plus 20. As 30 is being passed here and replacing x here, and therefore replacing x here. So the crucial point here that you that I want you guys to understand is that the the variable x is always assigned to the closest definition. So in this case, what is the closest definition? That would be this x right here, um, and not the outermost x. Okay. Second example, we have um, x assigned to 10, and now we have a basic definition that has a lambda on the right-hand side. So another question, what is the output of this program? Okay, so again, we're calling f with 30. Now please pause the video, try to answer it. Okay, so again, it's the same because the code is actually this equivalent, right? So we have f where we assign a lambda, which is equivalent to just writing a function definition as we saw. So th this version is just a syntactic sugar of this version, right? Okay, so the result is again the same. Second example is um, the factory. So if you recall, we saw this example with a, a function called factory that would just return a lambda that takes no parameters uh, and when called returns k. So whenever you call function a factory, you are creating a new lambda that is capturing k. Right, so what is the output of factor, factory of 10? So try to answer that. Okay, so now I'm going to give the answer. Uh, when you call factory of 10, what that does is return a lambda where the internal state of k is 10. If you want to call and obtain 10, you have to call the resulting lambda again. Right, and because it, there's no parenthesis, you just do outermost, the innermost returns the lambda, outermost returns the k. Okay, so let's uh, go for a step-by-step -step evaluation. So first thing we need to do, we have a function call. We evaluate from left to right. On the left, what do you have? You have a variable binding. What is factory define uh, assigned to? Or, or bound to? Let's look back. So this again, if you recall this slide, right? Uh, a function definition is just something with a lambda. So there's two lambdas here. Outermost takes k, returns innermost, empty empty parameters. And so first thing we do, we just replace lambda by factory. Second thing we do, we apply function to argument. In this case, argument is 10. What we do is we take the body of the lambda, which in this case is another lambda, and we find and replace k by 10. Right, so in this case, we're going to find and replace k in the body of the function, right? So it's going to be this lambda where we replace k by 10. So that's why you get 10, lambda with a 10. Okay. Um, right, and here is explaining why we replaced 
uh, just recapping why we replace um, factory by this lambda because left hand side is equivalent to right hand side okay and here is just more a, a spelled out um, explanation of what's going on where k is the parameter this is the body and this is the argument and then what we're doing we're replacing uh, k by 10 and this whole thing is the body of the function uh, and this is why we get the value so nothing too complicated okay so exercise four we have this code and in this code we have a function that takes two parameters again this function returns a lambda uh, and then it has a conditional where if b is true then it returns x if b is false it returns y okay so if i create if i call f with one and two and i assign that to g what is g going to be so please try to do this maybe use your uh, notebook to try to figure this out so it, it's mostly about you're going to return the body of the function right because you're calling it so the body of a function is this lambda so now just try to find and replace the, per the parameters with the arguments that were passed. So x will be assigned to 1, and y will be assigned to 2. What is g? Right, it's going to be this lambda with these replacements in place. Okay, so please start to do that. That is very important to understand um, homework assignment. Uh, so homework 2, for homework 2, uh, exercise 1. Okay. And the result is this lambda right here, where we replace x by 1 and y by 2. And in fact, if you look closely, this is exactly the example of cons, how to implement cons with functions alone and no data structures. Um, okay, so how do, we, how do we get x from this function is the second question. So we have this question. If I were to call, how do I obtain 1? Okay, so I hope you paused the video. And if you did, the only way to obtain this 1 is we have to call g and pass something that is truth, right? In this case, anything that is not false because this is a record. So we pass, we call it with truth. And it should return one. Okay, in the next video, we're going to cover abstract syntactic trees so that you can do the, the second part of homework uh, two. Oops.